Could you introduce yourself to Korean fans? So my name is Aliya Ishakova. I'm a pianist. Mm. I come from Russia mm. and uh, now I live in the Netherlands already almost six years mm. by now. Mm. Um, of course, as I always mention, I'm not really Russian, but mm. I'm Tatar. Mm. So it's like a bit different nation uh, that lives on the Russian territory. Mm. and we have our different language so uh, yes i'm i am from russia but i'm not russian <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah uh, how did you start with music i really liked always performing on the stage and i was never afraid i enjoyed to be on public mm. and i remember when i was four I said to my parents that when I will be seven, I will go to the school, to the musical school and to dancing. Mm -hmm. And eventually I went to school and dancing, but uh, to musical school, my parents didn't want, but I was very stubborn and I was begging them, please, I want to play instrument. And eventually my grandmother, uh, she one day brought me to the school and uh, I had like kind of audition uh and i was accepted to the musical school and then my parents decided okay if you are sure that you want to learn okay we will let you learn but uh, yeah in the beginning it was just like a fun i didn't think about becoming a professional it came later which was also a surprise for me and for my parents as well now they are very proud of you right i guess <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they think, oh, it was a really good decision at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they say if you feel like really it's what you want to do, do it. Mm. Yeah, they, I, I'm thankful that they didn't force me to, mm. to change my mind. And as many parents actually do, either they just push children to go to musical school or the opposite, like when child wants to continue professionally. They say, no, you are not going to earn good money. You have to find another profession. So I'm grateful that they let me do my own decision. How about Russian education? Well, it's pretty tough. And uh, it's also very well structured, not like here in Europe. In Europe, you cannot keep any level like school, college, conservatory, you cannot just have a couple of years of private lessons and go immediately to conservatory. So it's like at least 17 years of studying for everyone oh. to really become professional and start to work. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, still, um, unfortunately, there are many teachers who do it pretty hard way of of uh, teaching i understand i mean uh, they their main goal is to get the best result from everyone it doesn't matter what is level of the student even if cannot do anything they still will take the best what they can mm. which is also kind of good but at the same time it doesn't work with everyone and i know a lot of examples how children or even grown-up students, they were giving up, just cannot deal with this pressure all the time, like you have to, you have to, you have to. Maybe I guess that when you came to the Netherlands, you felt really 
big difference and you feel a bit comfortable, right? It was like, pff, I remember my first lesson I came in, in Rotterdam. I came to my piano lesson. I played and my teacher said, oh, very good. Uh. <laughs> no, it cannot be good. It's just first lesson, you know? And he's like, no, but you play good already. Of course, you will work and improve, but it's already good. And like, I, I couldn't believe. I was like, it's impossible. You're lying me. So, yeah, that was very different. And um, still, sometimes I'm not believing entirely to people. And mm. yeah, it's hard to change this uh, approach, uh, which I used to for many years, but mm. now I, I find uh, that it's also good. I think that's yes. more mm. the way how it should be. I, I think that you have a strength because you had an academic education in Russia and here you got an artistic education, right? So the both of them were combined. It is very idealistic, I think. Maybe. But yeah, I think uh, this change I really needed mm. to look from completely different perspective to music, to the playing, uh, to the art in general. And uh, studying here really changed uh, my personality, not only artistic personality, but also like as an individual. Mm. And I'm glad on how I changed. Mm. Oh, that's the happiest moment that we can have, yeah? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Who is your favorite composer? Beethoven. Mm -hmm. It's uh, for me, is like a god. Mm -hmm. um, Scriabin. Ah, oh, yes. And um, I think Debussy. I like Debussy too. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I feel that you are very active about participating in many kinds of performance. Yeah, because I, I would like to play as much as I can. I'm um, That was the reason why I stayed here, because mm -hmm. in Russia I wouldn't have so much possibilities to perform. Mm -hmm. I try, if I find something new, any new project, ensemble, uh, something interesting, some uh, possibility to collaborate with new people, I try to do it. I thought that you are very open to the new music. Yes. Also. Yeah, not yeah. only traditional classical music, but also to new music. No, no, no. In Russia, we have very, um, this close academic kind of uh, studying. We are not that much playing contemporary music. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think contemporary music for us ends uh, on Prokofiev for Shostakovich. Mm -hmm. And after that, even when sometimes we want to play something and we come to the lesson, our teacher's like, oh, come on, why? Take something, Brahms, Chopin, something. And here, from the beginning, I saw people are more open to experiments, mm -hmm. combining something unusual, sometimes even crazy. And uh, in the beginning, I was like, oh my God, people, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. But then actually, I, I also, I started to dive into it and I really like and uh, little by little, I try to like open my frames to different uh, directions and find something new and try new uh, and not be afraid. Mm. Very good. Very good attitude, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In Korea also, the contemporary music scene is not very active so it is not easy to find the musicians who can play this kind of music but in the Netherlands I was really surprised when I saw the nearly all musicians are open to new music and they are prepared for performing several kinds of music so it was a big difference and it's a kind of freedom to composer yeah and i think it's uh, very good for you as a pianist you can play not only Beethoven but also modern music and 
the several kinds of music, I think. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you.